the Superior Bodies Workout from Men and Fitness Channel. Uh, it's going to be Natalie demonstrating today. I've already done your video today, so I'm not going to do this now. But she's going to do this workout, and this is going to be our first Superior Bodies Superhero Physique Workout for the whole body. Okay, this lady is mentally and physically prepared to take on the villains of this world because we're about to hit some serious weight training workout in a very short time. All right, guys, 30 seconds, 30 seconds rest, three times through five exercises. And we're doing five of our favorite exercises, guys, with weights to really hit the entire body. We're gonna get that superhero physique. She's already got that superhero physique, but we're gonna take it up that stage even further. She's gonna power up. You ready to do this? Let's do this. Let's then. do this. Here we go. All right, grab your dumbbells. Uh, guys, a recommendation, because we're not going to do a warm-up now. We normally do, but we recommend definitely a, a three to five minute warm-up before you start. All right, our first exercise is a dumbbell bent over row. Go ahead. 30 seconds, reps. We're going to row those hands right back to the hip. And what we want to be doing is pulling the shoulder blades back together. Now, you'll see that that within three reps it's already feeling these guys because we've gone heavy straight away and it is really important guys that you're working those muscles hard using that enough weight that it's going to create the effect that we're looking for it's only 30 seconds you should be able to get in 10 to 12 reps in that time and rest put the weights down in between guys uh if you are using weights you want to rest uh, the arms, the legs, whatever you're using the weights with, by putting them down in your rest period. This is only 30 seconds rest, okay? If we were fighting some super villain, I'm sure they wouldn't give us more than 30 seconds rest, so we're not gonna give the body that rest right now. We got 10 seconds left, guys, get your breath. Hopefully you're all hydrated, drinking your water. I'm gonna remind you right now about, let's go about keeping that back really straight in this one, guys. You want your head up, you want to stick your butt right out, stick your butt up and out towards the ceiling. Feet square, knees soft, and always coordinate your colors. What a fantastic outfit, eh, today? All right, here we go, rowing back to the hip. Good, we're gonna go a little bit higher, we're gonna bring those elbows right up, past the body, keep your core tight, keep your back straight, and always remember to breathe. Breathe out sharp on that squeeze of that muscle and rest. Good job, okay guys? So you wanna uh, be pulling that muscle, uh, that, that uh, weight up and right there, okay? Right at the top of the movement, okay? Loving this look, look, she's even got a color coordinated trainers on. Look at me, I'm gonna mess, okay? Color coordinated trainers. Uh, should I throw away my trainers? Put it in the comments, okay? They're getting, they're getting dirty and gray. She says throw them away. They also smell cheesy. <laughs> look, gotta look great, gotta look great. All right, here we go. Our last set of these guys, just gonna give you a different angle there. Awesome. Feet square, knees soft. Pulling right back. Now really important here guys, we wanna be pulling the lats together at the top. We wanna to be squeezing the spine. If I place my hand on her back, I can feel my fingers being crushed between the lat muscles, which I am feeling. She's squeezing those shoulder blades together because it's very easy to let your arms do all the work. We wanna activate the lats. Pulling back, this is our last set of these guys. Good, there you go. Okay, some really athletic short rest periods in this. We're gonna build some muscle, but we're also gonna burn that fat because we're not taking long, long rests. Next up, guys, we've got a dumbbell chest press. Now, if you haven't got a bench, that's okay. Okay, you can go on the floor, just lie down in your normal sit-up position, legs up. Lying back, we're gonna take the dumbbells out to just outside the chest. And then we're going to draw an arrow. So the hands are going to go from the midpoint to the wide. Touch your elbows to the floor if you're not using a bench. And then all the way back up. The difference is with a bench is you can go a little bit lower. By the way, if you have a stability ball, you know a gym ball, one of those inflatable balls, you can also use that for this exercise. But it's going to be on your upper back and it's definitely going to be harder because it's a stability ball. It's meant to make it difficult for you to balance. All right, guys, so if you're using a stability ball, be safe. Using any equipment, be safe. All right, so this is a chest press, a chest press. And I was about to say to her, good job. It's nice to do a slightly lighter weight in your first set, get that muscle activation going. And then we're gonna take that weight up. We're gonna start challenging that upper body, okay? Uh, any superhero has good shoulders, good chest, good biceps, 
everything on the upper body has got to look good, okay? And one of the best exercises for it, guys, is the chest press. Mimicking a reverse push-up or upside-down push-up. Here we go. Lowering the weight slow, elbows past the body, and drive up. If you're going to the floor, lightly touch your elbows to the floor, and then drive back up. So remember, guys, we're trying to create that point as we go down, okay? This is great. Abs are tight, feet are apart. Drive and squeeze in the chest. Now what she's doing, she's lowering the weight either side of her chest. Very, very important, okay? Either side of the chest. Not over your shoulders, not over your face, over your chest. Rest, good job, okay? Turn it in on the knees and then sit up. Good job. If you're using heavier weights, guys, you can bring your knees up to the weight and kick yourself up to come out of the position. But if the weights aren't too heavy or they're just about right, then you should just be able to do a full sit up. With these benches as well, you have a, uh, a hook for your feet so you can just help with the sit up as well. That's the last set of these coming up, five seconds. Down she goes, takes her time getting in position. Now at this point, guys, you're gonna be fatiguing. So go nice and slow. Deep stretch through the chest. Big squeeze in the middle as you come up, okay? Make these reps as good as the first set's reps. So you've got nice and slow, big control. If you're getting tired, go slower, not faster, okay? Go slower, you'll have more muscle activation and more control over what you're doing. It's a chest exercise, keep it in your chest. Here we go, three, two, and one. Superb, guys, moving straight onto our next exercise, which is the seated shoulder press. Okay, we're gonna pop the bench up. Now guys, you can do this one on a normal chair. You're absolutely fine with a normal chair. Don't go too heavy with these. And sometimes getting, just getting into position can be difficult with this one. Okay, what I suggest is you put it in a curl position and you swing it up to get into position. Three seconds, and up they go. Okay, Nat's been able to power it straight up into position, but if you do struggle with it, you can always swing them into position as well. We're gonna go really slow with these. Nice, slow, all the way down, pause, and then drive up nice and quick. Good, this is great. She's got her abs tight, she's got her feet apart, good stability, really, really nice, guys. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, hopefully you'll still go along at home. Okay, if you don't have a bench, a chair is fine, or a stability ball, but don't go too heavy with the weights if you're using a stability ball. Three, two, one, good job, good. Uh, yeah, a reminder guys, if you're using heavier weights, it can be difficult to get that weight up into position. So you can either kick it up with your knee, or you can take them off your thighs and curl them up. Can you demonstrate that for me on the next one? So we're going to take the weights off the legs, and then she's going to kick them up with a nice strong curl, and that's another way that you can get the weights up there. But do be careful with yourselves guys. Oh, look at that, extra demonstration. Three, two, one, and up they go. Great stuff. There we go guys. Abs tight. Okay, my silent ninja here. Okay, doing an awesome job. All the way down, all the way up. You still alive? Yep. Good, she's real focused there, real focused, guys. When you're using weights, you've got to be in the moment, okay? Be in that moment. If you have quite a stressful job, anxiety, anything like that, this kind of training can be really, really good for you guys because you cannot be anywhere else. You've got to be focusing on what you're doing while you're doing it, and then you're going to get the benefit, okay? Great way to de-stress. Uh, you ever seen those Instagrams and stuff? We see um, the gym, it's called the therapy room. Exactly, okay? When you train, you're going to get the endorphin rush, you're going to feel good, you're going to feel energized. You're actually going to feel like you've got more energy, not less, if you train regularly. Of course, if you train regularly with NNN Fitness Channel, that's NNN Fitness Channel. Three seconds, last set of these, up they go. There you go, guys. If you feel like you do a heavier set, then go ahead and up your weights. She's on the dead right weight for herself, so we're gonna keep that right there. Keep it nice and clean and nice and square. And that will tell you, she used to have a little bit of trouble where she crossed the weights over a little bit, have one further back than the other, but you can really see she's focusing on that here. Well done, okay? She's keeping that real good control, bringing the thumbs together, bringing the, touching the weights together, trying to have as equally sided as possible. That's gonna be burning by now. Three, two, one, there it is. Great job. Okay, we're going to clear the bench, and now we've got the four touch lunge. Okay, we'll have a nice side view for this one. If you think that is doing a fantastic job with these demos, make sure to put it in the comments below, okay? Grab your dumbbells, floor touch lunge. Okay, you can go for lighter ones if you want to. 
All right, here we go, guys. So this one's for the lower body now. Okay, usually when we do superior bodies, we do a lower and a lower day and an upper day. Today is a full body day. Okay, this is the end game. Okay, we are in our uh, our big workouts for superior bodies now. Step back, take the weight to the side of the front foot, then drive up through your butt, through your glutes. Good. You can be good at this by now. All that upper body training has drawn all that glycogen, used up all that energy in the upper body, and now you're trying to use much bigger muscles. That's why this is effective, guys. That's why this is effective. Good. I'll tell you what always helps me at this point. Alexa, volume four. A little bit more music. Good, that'll help her focus a little more. There you go, yeah. Okay. Good. Do you like the music we use in the videos? Is it loud enough? Can you hear it? It's not copyright in case anybody asks. But uh, yeah, if you want the music a bit louder or anything like that, let us know in the comments below. Five seconds. Set two of these. All right, guys, here we go. Stepping back, taking the weight to either side of the front foot, just like a runner in a race. And then driving up through the glute. Real important, we're driving up through the glute. Core tight, head up, drive through. All the way down, all the way up. Super job, she's feeling those. She's making sure to breathe. Blasting up all the way through. Pause for a second, go again. See the way she's switching from one side to the other. It's 30 goddamn seconds, guys. Keep that going during that 30 seconds. Weights down, good. Good, give yourself that rest. Okay, she, she, she thinking she's the bomb now. Okay, she's Supergirl, she's Captain Marvel. She's Captain Supergirl, is there a Captain? No, that's not Captain Supergirl. <laughs> You're a spider woman though, aren't you? Okay, gosh, she looks good in it. Okay, I don't think Spider-Man. I'm gonna be Colossus. Which X-Men would you be? Let us know in the comments. Step it forward, last set. Let's go. Just give it a little angle there. All the way down, all the way up. I'm just gonna chill here a bit. All the way back, touching the floor. These definitely take those lunges to another level. You see the way she's keeping her heel up on the back foot? Really important, I'm gonna do a video just on lunges soon. You see the way she keeps her heel up on that back foot? Okay, that's gonna make a much better lunge than if you put that heel down. And the front knee is always bent when she lands. Great job. Awesome. Okay, weights down, give yourself that little rest. Last exercise coming up, we have the dumbbell RDLs, guys, dumbbell RDLs. Okay, she's drifted around now, she doesn't know where she is anymore. Okay, if you wanna grab your weights, you dumbbell RDLs. Go, go, go! All right, so RDLs, guys, Romanian deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts. Finishing a workout with deadlifts, who's stupidly right that way, eh? All right, so feet square, knees soft, hips hinged all the way down to the knee and drive up through the glutes. Look at that, perfect demonstration. Okay, sticking the butt out, feet square, knees soft. Brilliant, look at that. You want to imagine that like you've got a rubber band around your waist and it's pulling you backwards and then suddenly it lets you go, okay? So you want to come back with the bum out and then drive through the glutes to the front. All the way to the back and it lets go. Ping, okay? Not no ping, not no ping. And drive it through the glutes. Weights go down. Always give yourself that rest. Let's take it up a level with these next ones. Good, with the RDLs guys, you want to take them nice and slow and you want to go heavy because we're going to go build those glutes, going to build those hamstrings, you need a bigger weight. I am. Okay, this is why I'm going to wander around, so I'm going to drift around. Okay, let's not get too close to the camera. Okay, okay. let's see how tired we're looking today. Okay, all right guys, yeah, go heavy, go hard or go home guys. Okay, here we go, feet square. Actually, go hard, then go home. Go hard, then go home, that's how it should be. I got a t-shirt, we go hard or go home. No, 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 go hard, then go home. That's perfect technique, look at that. Sharp, straight back, chest up and out, head up, butt going back. This is a butt and upper hamstring, butt, upper hamstring, not lower back. Shoulders back, you'll be feeling that in your upper back from those rows earlier. Good, this is a, if I do this to myself, this is a very good workout, guys. Very good demonstrations. Very, very clean. Very, very clean. All right. One Maybe more yeah. set. One more set. And she's going for the big ones. She's going for the big weights. 
Oh, she's coming home. I'm not sure what she's doing. <laughs> she's going with the big weights. Here we go. Last set. Good. She's got that eye of the tiger going on now. Here we go. All right. So sticking out that booty sharp and then squeeze through the glue. Stick out the booty. Squeeze through the glue. Good. That's You're going to get in 10 reps maybe at most, but these are going to be clean, perfect reps. 15 seconds. If you like this video series, guys, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more workouts like this, uh, you've got dumbbells and dedication, you've got training buddies, we've got gym goers. So if you like dumbbell workouts, then definitely there's going to be something for you here. There it is, guys. Great job. Okay, guys, uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you thought Natalia did a great job, put a comment. If you like this video series, put a comment. Just put a comment. Okay, uh, just put a comment below. If you like our new t-shirts and hoodies, then please make sure to do that. Okay, she will give you a flex because you're pumped. Look at that, guys, okay? All right, if you want a superior body, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will see you for another video tomorrow. Or of course, go check out abs, uh, Nat's Fab Abs or our ab finisher videos, which can finish off that workout right now. Thanks a lot, guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Come on.